Heaven is a real place, as described in the Bible, with the term heaven appearing 276 times in the New Testament alone. The scriptures reference three distinct heavens. The Apostle Paul was caught up to the third heaven, but he was not allowed to disclose what he encountered there read. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1 through 9 for more context. If there is a third heaven, it implies the existence of two other heavens as well. The first is commonly mentioned in the Old Testament as the sky or the firmament. This heaven encompasses clouds and is the space where birds soar. The second heaven refers to interstellar or outer space, which houses stars, planets, and other celestial bodies. The third heaven, whose exact location remains undisclosed, is the dwelling place of God. Jesus assured his followers that he would prepare a place for genuine believers in heaven. Additionally, heaven serves as the final destination for Old Testament saints who died in faith, trusting in God's promise of the Redeemer. Those who believe in Christ will never perish but will receive eternal life. The city is radiant with the splendor of precious stones and clear jasper. Heaven features 12 gates and 12 foundations. The paradise of the Garden of Eden is restored, with the river of the water of life flowing freely and the tree of life bearing monthly fruit, its leaves providing healing for the nations. Despite John's eloquent descriptions of heaven, the true reality of this place surpasses the ability of finite humans to fully express. Heaven is characterized by no mores. There will be no more tears, pain, or sorrow. Separation will cease as death is defeated. Above all, the most incredible aspect of heaven is the presence of our Lord and Savior. We will be face to face with the Lamb of God who loved us and gave himself for us, allowing us to enjoy his presence for eternity. Heaven is a place where we all want to be, but, Jesus was clear that no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. To be honest, God desires for every person to spend eternity with him, as highlighted in various scriptures. However, he respects our choice to accept or reject him. Anyone who wishes can enter heaven, for Jesus has already paid the price for our salvation. Yet, we must embrace this gift and surrender our lives to him. Heaven is a place of perfection, and God cannot allow anyone into his presence who clings to sin. Therefore, we must permit him to cleanse us of our sins and make us righteous in his sight. We have the option to trust in Jesus' sacrifice for our sins or to bear the cost ourselves. However, we must remember that choosing the latter means facing the eternal consequence of separation from God in hell. If you do not know Jesus, ask Jesus into your life right now. You need his guidance and wisdom, as well as his comfort and hope during difficult times, which are inevitable. You also require strength to resist temptations that could lead to your downfall and his assistance to live a life that aligns with his will. Simply turn to Jesus in a prayer of faith and surrender your life to him today. Only God can offer us forgiveness, and he made this possible by sending his only son, Jesus Christ, into the world for our sake. Through his death on the cross, Jesus bore the judgment that you and I deserve. God loves you that deeply, Trust him in your life today. You tried everything else. Why not try Jesus?